What is going on everybody? Hope you're having a great day. We are, but we aren't. <laughs> We're out here busting bud hustling. Um, I'm going to explain what we do here in Columbus as far as overseeding, uh, starter fur, aeration, dethatching, all that. This one was in a dethatching video just the other day. We took this side, just right here, and the very backyard. And uh, I'm going to go through the process for anybody that has not aerated or um, who kind of wants to know. I mean, it, it's all over YouTube, so you can find it anywhere. I'm just going to show you how we do it. Anyway, we use the Ryan, I think it's called uh, Lawn Air 5 or so. I don't know what it's called. It's a Ryan, man. It's the easy steer, which don't let them fool you. It's not easy to steer, is it, Justin? No. <laughs> a lot easier than the old one though. Yeah, it's a lot easier than the old one. It's a 25 inch wide. It's got the Honda 120 GX120 motor. I love it. I've had it for five years. It works fantastic, man. Anyway, today we're putting down premium grass seed blends. Now this is uh what the customer bought from advanced turf solutions and they know their stuff here in columbus so we're putting that down don't know what the mixture is i couldn't tell you it's actually not on the bag so this is just what you get and here's the starter fertilizer justin loves to hug this thing is that all we got one bag he bought two i think we only need one but uh that's the starter fert right there and, uh, yeah. so we are going to get to air rating, uh, probably put some music to it, but, uh, we'll start out. It's super easy. You get it ready. You just drop this bar, you pull these handles and you walk. We'll be back guys. Who knows what we're going to get into today. I'll see you in a minute. Alright guys, so here is the plug size we're pulling out. Not too bad, but that is, that actually is some good dirt, but there's a lot of clay here. So uh, 
get back to you when I get ready to overseed it and show you how we do that and uh, I'll be back all right guys so uh, getting ready to put seed down um, I've got a small spreader because I don't do a lot of this but I got the little prize lawn LF not sure you can even find those anywhere um, I bought that at Buckeye power sales anyway <clears throat> I usually put the cover on top but uh, there's no rain today, so I'm just going to leave it off. Very little wind. So I'm going to just uh, go around. I'm just going to go around the perimeter. Then about every four feet, I'm going to be spreading probably about at a number seven. So I'm just doing the front, this side over here, and the backyard. So I'll be back. Okay, Justin is blowing off. We put down about a half a bag of seed, maybe a little bit more, probably three quarters of a bag, and uh, one and a quarter bag of starter fertilizer. We're just blowing all the seed and fertilizer that got out here back into the yard, and uh, that's it. So go ask him what he thinks about his first day of aeration again because uh man it is beating me to death it's hard work guys i'm telling you justin what do you think about your first day back aerating <laughs> it's awesome it's a heck of a workout i'll tell you that but uh quit walking around you <laughs> monkey boy yeah that's uh, a big one isn't it yeah yeah the backyard's pretty uh it's not really deep man it's wide but uh yeah i like aerating so it's, uh, it's a good workout and uh here we go yeah he likes it because he doesn't have to walk around and put the seed down so <laughs> we'll be back guys <laughs> guys we are working on this one right back here behind me that you saw Justin doing the front yard on and uh, I was working on the back and the side anyway cool thing I'm out working aerating somebody pulls up hey can you do mine put them on the schedule for next weekend just for the simple fact we are booked up solid today and uh, we'll be back in this area. This is the area that I work in almost every day. So we have got a boatload of them to do today. And uh, tell you what, it is, it's a workout, but it's easy money, man. I mean, you, you can make two, three hundred bucks easy on one stop. And, uh, you know sometimes more but uh anyway we'll get uh some footage of the next one and then uh you kind of get the gist of it but it's really good it allows the oxygen allows water to get down in there now most yards i aerate after we aerate them and we get the dew in the morning they absolutely take off so we'll see how these look this week when we cut but uh i'll be back
Okay guys, so that is simply how you do it. Um, it wears you out a little bit, but uh, now see all this, the plugs, we take the blower, blow them back into the yard. We do not, do not pick up plugs. If someone says, can you, please, can you please pick those plugs up and take them with you? No, you're not raking plugs up. That is healthy for the lawn. They will break down within two to three weeks. You will not see them and you want those to stay in the yard. So do not take those with you. I mean, I'm gonna show you the uh, size of plugs we got out of here and uh, see if I can find one. Yeah, here's one. That's a good size plug, but you don't want to take these. You don't want to take these out of the yard. Look how nice that soil is. You don't want to take that out of the yard. So if I haven't said it three times, I'm saying it again, don't. Anyway, the grass is growing, man. We have got the next two weeks of aeration. Then we're going to start uh, ripping out bushes. And we've got so much work to do. It's awesome. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it taught you something. Aeration is easy. I don't know that I would go rent a riding aerator just for several lawns. I would... If you don't have... 25 30 lawns to aerate I wouldn't rent one I would not um, I would just go ahead rent the walk behind they're about 67 bucks you can get them on a Friday night or a Saturday morning aerate all weekend and just pay one price most places will do that and uh, the one thing I need is a new spreader for sure as Ray Ray would say faux show that thing is too little. Anyway, hope you guys had fun. Hope you enjoyed this one. We are going to be out here all day. So, as always, Dr. Real was in the house. Keep it real, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. If you like the channel, please subscribe, and I'm out of here. Peace.